Hey everyone, I'm Pam. I'm your Miss Trini Chicago 2019 queen, and I am here with one of my padding sisters and friend, Kathy. Hey, and we just wanted to talk about health. Um, so I will be giving quarterly updates on different topics, and I thought health was the most important thing to focus on since we are coming into a new year and a lot of people are thinking about it. So with that, we'll begin with telling you guys about what we do to keep ourselves healthy physically and mentally. And then Kathy is actually an acupuncturist, so she can tell you more tips about what to do. And so we'll start from there. So the first thing about health, I think a lot of people ask us, like when we're in the pageant, like if we need to lose weight for it, if there's um, a lot of like strict diets we need to do. And at least for Miss Chinese Chicago, which was both our first pageants, I thought it was really reasonable. And we really focused on fitness and being strong. And so during the pageant, at least, we had some optional workouts. Um, uh, my favorite part was doing some of the workout videos with the girls. What was your favorite part? Oh, I just liked doing it together. It's harder to do it on your own. And so uh, being together and like laughing at each other <laughs> makes, us, uh, makes, it makes it more, it makes it go faster. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So accountability is one of the most important things, I think, um, when it comes to keeping yourself in good physical shape. And for me personally, now that the pageant's over, one way I keep myself in shape is I go to the gym before work every day. And um, at least with my gym, which is I go to the FFC club, and they have a tracker on the app that shows you how many times you've checked in from a certain day. So it, there's a little bit of satisfaction when I can see that I have some consistency. And I believe Kathy goes to the gym too, and she can tell you about her favorite workout. I don't go to a fancy gym like that. <laughs> um, I do go with my friends, so that also helps with accountability. She's a total gym rat, so um, I like following her and her routine, which is a lot of like routine. It switches between like abs, legs, arms, uh, machine cycling. Uh, we don't usually do the classes, but it's an option that I never take on. But um, other times, just to take a break, I'll go swimming. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So obviously in a big gym or a smaller gym, there are a bunch of options. I think one area that I need to improve on, like outside of working out, I am a huge foodie and I need to be better about watching my diet. And part of like a good cycle is when I do work out well, then I am more motivated to eat healthy because I don't want to waste a workout. So I try to, you know, watch what I'm eating, try to eat less processed stuff and get good protein. So do you have any tips on eating? <laughs> I, I don't really know that much. Well, eating is really most important is the balance. It's, you really gotta think about like how much vegetables you're having in comparison to like the meats and the fat that you eat. Um, obviously fats are good for you as long as they're the healthy kind, such as like, I mean everyone knows avocado, um, but like fat seed oil, like all those things are really good to help move the digestion. Make sure to eat lots of dark leafy greens, like everyone says it, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's really important because it's filled with all that uh, water soluble vitamins. Um, like we don't get a lot of that nowadays. Yeah, so it's also a good tip. Um, what would you say is your like favorite healthy food? Because sometimes I find that like I don't like how healthy food tastes, but you know, obviously we have to take care of our yeah, bodies. Yeah, uh, I think like just <laughs> making like a smoothie out of things. So just blending it in together, you don't you don't really taste the fibers. It's actually really bad. So um, it's, it's a way to get your morning started. Yeah, that that makes sense. And I think another big benefit of eating better that I try to incentivize myself to do is I found that my skin quality has been a lot better since I've been eating better. And especially for like the pageant and. Um, Obviously, like the better you can keep your skin, the less the makeup has to work. And so actually in this video in particular, neither me or Kathy are wearing skin makeup. So um, I think <laughs> hopefully it is truly a result of us eating better. Um, any extra like foods or like herbs that help with skin in particular? Well, um, you might have guessed, but collagen is a big component of skin, right? So mm -hmm. anything that's like tendons, Okay. Those kinds of things really add on to it. 
Oh, I actually wouldn't have guessed, but that's awesome. Really? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. I, I always thought it was like just like fruits or like, I, I don't know. I just yeah. thought like a more vegetarian and plant-based diet would be better, but I, I didn't know there were certain parts of meat that would be good. But that yeah, and sense. also healthy oils, obviously, because you want to you want dry skin. True. You want to skin, you got to start from the inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes yeah. Moving on to mental health, this is also a part of health that I think more and more people are becoming more aware of. I know, as for me, I'm like learning a lot more about it, and Kathy knows a lot more about about it than I do. But I guess one thing that I do know helps. We just talked about exercise, and that definitely gives me a little bit of a high to start my day since I do it in the morning. And also, one thing I've done through Miss Trini Chicago is start a girls basketball team in Chinatown, and just being able to coach little girls and giving back to the community, that also is something that really helps with my mental health because it um, shows me what I'm grateful for and kind of being able to connect with more people in the community. However, there are definitely things you can do um, as a habit and I'll, I'll let Kathy speak more on that, but um, I think these are all important things for me to keep in mind as well. So I hope this helps you guys. Yeah, so uh, just in practice, I've seen a lot of people with um, anxiety or depression, um, they come in for treatments. Um, acupuncture is really beneficial for that. Uh, we can treat not just the physical health but also the mental health. It's, it's a mostly holistic kind of medicine, so we treat it from the root, not the symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, but aside from that, like what you can do at home and what I tell patients is that you know, the first step is just take say 10 minutes out of your day and just take the time to deep, breathe deeply. A lot of people don't take that time in their stressful lives and they you know forget to take that break and then take that next step. Into their morning or be that night um, just get to get started yep if they want to take the next next step they can always like look into meditation apps mm -hmm. so there's lots of ads out there that talk about like helping you to guide through that meditation someone to like guide your mind to where energy should be um, other people they find it's more helpful to have classes so if you find like a yoga or qigong which is chinese mm -hmm. meditation people in the group so you're gonna have that like push to keep going to it because yeah you know, other people are with you you're gonna have that right motivation. right yeah. um, and it's just really good to learn how to like truly get your energy smoothed out and like get your day started or get ready for the next day yeah that, and I think like what you were saying with the classes it goes back to what we've been saying about accountability so I think all in all, um, with this video talking about health, um, even just talking to Kathy, I realized that accountability is the most important part to reach any goal, but specifically with health, um, because a lot of the habits that we have to do require like daily discipline. And so I hope you guys all have communities where you can talk to people and have people keep you accountable to push you to live a healthier lifestyle. I know I'm very lucky to have sisters such as Kathy and other people in our pageant as well as outside friends to talk about this with. So if you guys have any questions or want to talk about health with me or Kathy, please reach out. You can reach me on any of the Miss Chinese Chicago social media platforms and I'll try my best to respond as soon as I can. And you can find Kathy, who is actually a licensed acupuncturist, through a more official way. And I'll let her tell you. Yeah, um, so I work with Lime Modern Health. So if you're interested or want to know a bit more about acupuncture or any other services we have, we'll provide the links down below. Thank you. Bye.